Hey, rude. Don't hit me. Get out of here. Thank you. All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome back to, I guess I gotta kill these guys. Welcome back to Breath of, Breath of the Anime, the game, but not actually really, but also kind of, sort of, still. Uh, also known as Genshin the Impact. I'm just gonna rip through these guys real quick. <laughs> yeah. At what point does an homage become a knockoff, become a spiritual successor, becomes a clone, becomes a whatever? The interesting thing is, if they play their cards right, and they might... Nope, that's not what I want. There we go. I just want the damaged mask. I don't actually know if that's any use, but still. Some part of me really does wonder, like, hey, with a game like this, could you actually make it in such a way that... Where's the next god statue? That one there? I think these are warp points. Can I... Yeah, it's a teleport waypoint. Can I set it as a... No, I can't. Alright, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Somebody was gonna say, right, elemental reactions. Boy, howdy, there's some things here. I will learn them later by just playing. But no, I wanted to check mail, because apparently I got ma I got mail. So, stylized wings of companionship for being a la on launch game. Cool. I was wondering where to get these. Alright, we get some gold. We get... A lot of gold, 10 acquaint feints, some food, a lot of EXP, other stuff. I'll take it. So yeah, a lot of gold. I think I've claimed all of these. Yes? Oh, claim all. There we go. They've already been claimed. Perfect. Okay, next up. Notices. Cool. So if I, launch, if I hop on tomorrow, I think? Yeah. And they're going to be handing out more Primogens later, which I'm not entirely sure how Primogens even function, but that's fine. Okay, so I've got ten of these. We can do the Beginner's Wish. Which gets... Every ten wishes is guaranteed to include at least one four-star or higher character. I don't think we have access to the other ones, yeah? Yeah, we don't have access to the, that one. We could do this one, but I might as well go for the discount and get... Her... Alright, bow, three star, three star bow, hey, four star dude. Man, look at all these like really rad sounding weapons and they're just not actually great. Like Harbinger of Dawn, three star. Ooh. Debate club. <laughs> Alright, I'll give him credit. That's pretty funny. Alright, so we got two far star characters. I don't think I care too much. We also got the Stardust, which heck if I know what it, even that's for. But yeah, now I can play as some other characters, whether or not that's actually particularly necessary and how good they are. I guess the real question to ask is, what is his maximum level? Uh, let's see. So if I go to C for character, maximum level is still... Benny's Still 20. Boy. Alright. Details. Mm, or not. Well, that's kind of cute, actually. I want to know about friendship. Oh. No, no. Friendship is just something to do with, like, oh, hanging ah. out with them. Oh, and I have to equip them with new things across the board. So we have... Traveling... Owl, uh, traveling Dr. Owl's Feather. I, I'm i probably going to leave just some of this stuff off. I'll just go back to Durbo. They should have just given him a name. Anyway. Let's kill this thing. I wonder if... Characters not use? I didn't realize you could freeze the ice slime, but sure, why not? And yes, I'm aware that these open up chests. I just was not... I was not paying full attention yesterday. I just wanted to get through as much gameplay as I possibly could in as short of a period of time as possible, but that's not always the easiest. Oh, the star things are minor challenges. I get it. I like that. We might as well go to the top. There we go. 
So, if those are marked on the map, we want to switch, grab them. Uh, or not switch, grab them, but go out of our way to fly around and grab them. Because that's how we get our stamina up. And that's actually pretty useful. Alright, so... I know I should probably uh, go talk to Wagner the Blacksmith. Wagner? 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 I don't know. Really depends on how authentic they want to go with this pronunciation. Uh, go talk to the Blacksmith? Probably? Got it. I guess I might as well also keep grabbing these. It looks like food is actually pretty imperative in terms of healing. I'm not healing up at all. Maybe we can get some items that give me healing later. But I guess I should avoid taking damage, because otherwise just adventuring is going to be a, a very slow war of attrition. Okay. I don't know about this. Can I... Can we go into the settings for a second? Game... Gameplay. Other? Counts... I know about these. Nothing on messages. Dang. I was really hoping I could actually turn off tutorials or just like have it as a, uh, please just go away after a little bit, I'll read them later. I, mainly, from my perspective, I feel like uh, hefty tutorials in this exact manner are almost better handled. Not willingly, but it's just like, hey, I don't understand this thing, let me look it up. But like, elemental combos, I'm pretty sure I can figure that out and I don't need like a big UI thing being like, ah, combos. What are you? Oh. Okay. Well, if it's going to be like that... Huh? Out of the way. There we go. Sort of there we go. I don't want to take too much damage. Yet. I like the elemental combos. Like, that sort of thing has a lot of potential. Okay. And I think we're good. Oh, you know what? Oh. Slime condensate. Okay, got it. If we go to her, weapons, she uses a bow. I'm pretty sure we got a better bow at this point. So we got the Raven mo Bow, Sharpshooter's Oath, the Raven... Oh, interesting. Increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Pyro. Ah. Uh, the basic recurve bow might not be terrible. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, the other ones would be nice, but I figure just recovering HP the more I hit stuff. Probably better. We go raid the camp down there. I, You know what? I'm here to adventure today. I don't want to do a whole lot of plot stuff because I'm probably going to start streaming this game tonight. And I just want to kind of wander aimlessly for this episode. There, so the, this might actually just be the the episode that is technically meaningless plot-wise, but is gameplay? I don't know. It, reconciling both of those is weird. I saw a uh, one of those like hot take Twittery things. Where? Okay, this ain't working. Okay, let's go for the let's go for the shaman instead. Cuz it seems like he's kind of an inconvenience. Okay, send that off. Now, can I do character switching things to get more EXP? It looks like I can, yeah. Should probably also see it looks like this guy is just a single sword wielder. Nothing fancy, so we should probably switch it up. Ah. Alright, I will just leave him there for the moment. Okay, there we go. 
There he goes. Thank you for the delicious eats. There's one more. Oh, there's there's this guy. I love bad pathing. I mean, it's it could be just downright awful. But in this specific situation, it's super convenient for me. All right, damaged mask. We actually have a decent chunk of these dudes just kind of lurking around. him with that. Alright, there we go. Oh, well, there's a cook fire at the very least. Ooh. Thank you for the sweet, sweet EXP. And the rest of you will burn. Slowly. If I can increase her attack speed. Would be nice, actually. Maybe if I can get to that point. Anyway, what was I going to say? What? Are, where? Where's my brain at? My brain's at all sorts of different places right now. I took it or some more HP? Nah. Alright, I wonder if there's a way to specifically lock onto a dude. Nope, that didn't help. Alright, so far so good. Let's look around, let's grab some things. Shame that Amber's... Oh right, I was going to give this guy a different weapon. Because we have a couple of different ones. Okay, so I've got Harbinger of Dawn, HP is above 90%, extra crit, extra crit, extra crit. So energy recharge and ton of crit damage. And then just two basic dull blades. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice here. Yay, repeated items. Well, we might as well give her the debate club. <laughs> After using a elemental skill, normal and charge attack on hit, deal additional 60% extra uh, extra attack damage to a small area. Effect lasts 15 seconds. Damage can only occur once every three seconds. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Looks like she has kind of a shield that she also summons on herself. All right, I, I will admit I was thinking I was thinking about this game to myself earlier today how I want to handle it and some part of me mildly wants to try and I, I realize I probably don't get much of a say in the matter but some part of me would like to try and aim for only the burliest dudes possible which is probably not actually super possible I just anime games being what they are they usually they usually end up fa favoring the, uh... Gosh, how would I even describe them? The childlike. And the young. And I want... I want me some old dudes, and I want me some burly dudes. You know what? No. I'll, I'll take some burly women for this. If they exist. I'll have to actually do some research on whether or not it's... Worth even looking for such things, or if I should just uh, go with whatever. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they have minimal to none of those. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, at least we don't take fall damage. Is there anything sneaky in here? No. Potentially clipping problems. That's what could be sneaky in there. Hi. Okay, I see that. No escape. Okay. Let's actually switch to Durbo to this for this one. I'm sure he can actually do some damage. I realize we're under level. But that's not actually a problem. There we go. I guess we could probably use some of the character EXP books on these char characters if I wanted to. Alright, uh, let's see. So I was going to engage in climbing. 
here? Here-ish. Alright, let's wait for that stamina to come back. Ugh. There we go. I do really absolutely adore the fact that this game has climbing as a thing. I... I've played too many RPGs that it's like, hey, here's the big open world for you to explore in one dimension. And so I realized, like, this is a little goofy looking, uh, having a maid knight climbing in high heels. Oh, boy. But at the same time, it really does add a level of dimensionality that I want to say we're going to see a lot more games starting to emulate this specific style over the next, uh, you know, decade or two. That there hasn't been a whole lot of advances in... I, I'm going to be honest, there haven't been a whole lot of advances in graphics for quite some time. I'll catch up. Like, games are looking better, but it's, it's getting harder and harder to make your games look good. And so, yeah, you're probably going to see more interesting visual styles. But I bet we're going to start seeing developers starting to tackle the third dimension in a better way. You know, up until now, you just kind of move along an XY plane and very rarely go up up or down anything. You know, maybe there's like a, some platforms or a ladder or something, but rarely do you just get the ability to climb a tree and then see what's there. For better or worse. And worse? I don't know. I'm going to keep grabbing a number of these warp points and we'll just kind of bail. I could explore further in depth. But I don't think I care. At least not at this moment. We can do more we can do more later. And so I think I don't know. I hot take, I didn't like Breath of the Wild too much. I thought it was kind of a boring game. Uh, it was a fun open world and it was neat to explore, but as a as a Zelda game it was kinda of bad. I wanted deeper dungeons that you would spend a lot of time exploring. With interesting trinkets, you know, hook shots, and so on and so forth. And pretty much they gave that to me at the very beginning. Ow! Leave it all to me. Oh, she can heal herself. Occasionally. Okay. Well, this character's got some merits. in terms of soloing. Unfortunately, character EXP does not go up much based on what I'm killing, so I guess I should stay within my, my level. Is what it is. Okay. Yeah, they really want you to use those collectible EXP items as well. Oh, that's fine. Egg. Oh, interesting that he's hanging out. Probably doesn't have anything to say until we got get to that specific part of the story. But I'm going to take a look at it. Adventure rank 15. Recommended party level 25. There's got to be some way of raising the party level. Ow. Okay. Do not stand in that stuff. Oop. Is it because I'm... Oh, is it because I'm still on fire? Yes. Hello. Nope. Cannot break that. Ooh. Hello. Oh, what does Tab do? Oh, makes sense. Neat area down here. I think I'm gonna leave it. This flower just thumped at me. Oh. Steady as stone. Okay. Well, for a level one character, I'm kind of kicking ass, but I think a lot of it just boils down to the fact that the enemies aren't really that interesting to fight. Being able to stunlock anything really makes a difference here. Let's go over here. Let's grab the uh, grab the waypoint if I can. Like there's a lot of critters to come out and fight. 
There we go. Anyway, didn't care much for Breath of the Wild. Like, it was still fun and it was still neat to explore, but... As a Zelda game, yeah, it just, it just didn't capture me in the same way that Twilight Princess or Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time or so on and so forth ever did. I found... I found that I really needed that, that deep dungeon experience. And mild linearity? To stay interested. Where's this thing? Up here? Okay. I see the treasure chest. I'll go for it in a bit. But this looks kind of like fight the mid-boss territory. I see four torches, and you know what? I've got a level one character and level one weapons, and maybe I shouldn't be tackling that sort of thing yet. Yep, here we go. Hey, it's got a treasure chest for me. Okay. Grab that. Plenty of Prima Gen. Hmm. Well, you know what? How do we how do we use these things? Do we just click on them? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna work back here. We will we'll go talk to what's your face at the dungeon and see what it is. Cause ideally what I'd like to do is be able to do some dungeon crawls. I I don't know if this is gonna be the game the kind of game that I record the entire experience, or if there's you know, just times where we come back and I've just grinded like hell for a while. Cause I've said this year I'd don't want to grind. You know, grinding Grinding is the one thing I don't want to do. I think the real answer is just, it's not that I don't want to grind, it's that I don't want to... I don't want to... We just ripped the tail off that lizard. I don't want to spend a full series grinding. After Graveyard Keeper, I think that, just, that sort of thing just bounced off of me permanently. But, I don't mind doing it on my own time here and there, as long as it's not overly required. If it's more of a bonus, like in Nexamon, where I become OP as hell, yeah, that's that's my speed. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Wait, did you just say its own temple? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. I thought I couldn't go in yet. Oh, I see. This is for the quest. Alright, sure, we'll do it. Start? I'll figure this out later. I do like the presentation, though. I... gosh, this game reminds me of... You can use that console Hello. to open the door. Okay, that's a cool... that's a cool look. It's the game. Craft... Craftopia? Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Okay, Amber has the ability to aim and shoot. Okay, use pyro skills to ignite those. Got it. But what if I want to club? Wait, hold up. I see. Well, it works. Okay, what else we got here? Yeah, we'll switch to her. She's a little bit less bouncy in terms of all of this. Anything else? Look how climbable this dungeon is. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, dungeons cannot be climbed. This doesn't surprise me. This music is also very Zelda. I asked at the beginning, when does a game go from being a an homage elemental sight to see the elemental attribute of different objects each has their own color green symbolizes dendro uh, let's see wooden shields can be set on fire well, that's kind of neat
Let's see, is there anything else? What are you? What's this thing? I have no idea. Oh, well, we'll just switch to Bennett, get him some EXP. What I should probably do is actually just use those EXP books, because it really seems like that's how you get EXP in this game. I, it's a bit of a shame that she's such a, a crucial character for a zero star. Maybe, maybe she gets more stars as the plot goes on. Whoops, that's not me. There we go. I'm just gonna set some things on fire. I do like the elemental combos. Oops. It's not these. Hello, yes, I am here for, I am here for potatoes. Oh, I was expecting that would blow something up. Instead, it did not. Well, I'll take what I can get. If we switch back to her. Explosive barrels. Are those explosive barrels over there? <laughs> well, one shot should be able to blow them up. Right. <sighs> no escape. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Peace out. There we go. It's gonna be a while before she levels up, I'm betting. Yeah, I gotta kill, what, 500? No stone unturned. 500 critters? Yeah, it's gonna take some doing. Alright. Right, every time I get a Wanderer's Notice, Adventure Rank levels up? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of why you want to just do random dungeons. It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. But how do we get across? <gasps> Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Is there anything else? Nah, it doesn't seem like they really do the whole off the beaten path kind of thing. Dragon's breath. Is that where the power is coming from? Great. Let's smash it. Phew. I'm tired. But at least this way, we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. Did you come up with it? It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Hey, I don't know why they made the main character silent. Cause he wasn't silent. He had a voice in the very beginning of the game and then it switched over to not silent protagonist, but you know, I get two dialogue choices that mean nothing. Like just make the characters talk to each other. I, I get that you want to make the character an avatar for my will, but I'm straight up replacing this character because he is ostensibly trashed here. Oh, stars go up to six. Oh boy. This is one of those games. All right. Well, do we go back to the blacksmith? Yeah, I'll go back to the blacksmith. I could walk. Can I warp? We never, we never got the warp point in the town. <laughs> Dumb. We should go grab that. Now, did that character EXP? It did affect the other characters. Appreciated. What if there's any characters that are specifically just faster than each other? Because it'd be kind of amusing to have a character that is designed very specifically. Well, I got a chicken drumstick out of that. So I guess I should just run around exploding pigeons. If I can. We might need somebody with a big... Oh. Somebody with a big explosive AoE and a fast shot. Long reload time. That'd do the trick. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Chances are he's not going to make his good weapons, though. What do you want? Got the iron chunks? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. Like something made. 
All right, so we can make enhancement ores. Cool. Oh. So prototype Rancor requires Northlander sword prototype dropped by bosses. Okay, so we can at the very least get up to four star stuff this way. Pretty much not worth my time though. I guess I'll make those real quick. Interesting, so we also get extra extra slots. I this seems like the kind of thing I if will ignore for a while. In the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. You seem to be in a bad mood. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. Committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. Okay, and this time let's not be a dingle hop and actually get the. get the war point in town so I can come back here whenever I want. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Oh, there's another one. I'll go grab that. Might as well grab as many as I can. After that, I'm not really sure what I will do. I... For those of you hanging out in chat... Well, chat. I'm not streaming this. For those of you hanging out in the YouTube comments on this video... This seems like the kind of thing I'm mildly out of my depth for. You know, obviously I'm going to keep exploring and just doing my own thing. But there's always kind of the question of like, how can I further optimize my actions here? Is the war point on top of that giant? Yep, it is. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad thing, though. Because if the war point is at the top of this, that gives me a really good springboard to just fly wherever the heck I want. Oh, this is going to be handy. Watch there be no more convenient lips for me to climb onto. Nope, we're good. As long as we don't run out in the next, like, two seconds. And we are solid. So back to Bennett. Anyway, uh, let's see. Like, I guess I could use like a very quick comment-based primer on like, what does Prima Gen do? How much should I be collecting? Is it even worth worrying about? I, I know everybody has said like, you can just get through the entire story without buying a character. Uh, but I know that's always, well, I'm not gonna say mild nonsense, cause it's not. Hey. This is handy. But what can I do to optimize my actions and my time in this game to get the most out of it, ideally without spending too much money on it? I'm not actually against spending money on these games, especially because I'm rather enjoying this one. I feel like the developers do deserve money for their work. But I'm also big on optimization and I like, I, well, okay, I'm, uh, okay. Let's not do this. Uh, I'm huge on optimization. Let's just hop down. And I'm also one of those people that, you know, 10 years ago when Warframe first came out, I foolishly bought a couple of characters thinking that that was, you know, somehow the smart thing to do. It was not, let me tell you. Oh, I see a... God thing over there. Let's let's head for that and maybe call it quits. But I I would hate to do the exact same thing this time around and you know blow a bunch of money on something completely useless. Here's the question: Does the fog of war mo clear out as I move through it? The answer is no. And chances are this is going to be a harder area, so I should probably keep my eyes out. At least you can see the uh, the mapping beacons from a far a ways off. Oh yeah, we ain't fighting these guys. I mean, I could. Balls. Oh, 
I... Why... What is going on? Oh! Oh, I can't get... That's stupid. So, apparently, if it's in the red zone, I'm not allowed to go there. I bet it's probably limited based on my level. Can I work here? Yeah, hey, I can. It's probably limited based, based on my level, so I can't, like, range out too far or get anything too good. Uh, too early. But at the same time, that's rude. If, if I can see it, I should be able to go there. Level requirements or not, but I guess... They want to make it harder so you don't, uh, you don't just immediately cheese your way to the end. Speedrunner tactics blitz the game and absolutely get around to any need for, you know, purchasing characters or anything like that. I, it's, I guess, I just, I think when it boils down to it, I always just prefer games that I can just you know, pay the entry cost and never have to think about all the other stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's not waste too much stamina going up this one. Well, I guess this will have to be our consolation prize, just grabbing this one. Oh, and we got a couple of those star bits, so we might as well stick them... Oh, sideways. Probably make it. I should have not done that upward jump. Oop. Nope. Let's see. What was I going to say? The basic cost of entry, so on and so forth. I don't know. Just always going to be at odds with this kind of design. Okay, yeah, we can we can make it up here at the very least. Can't mind this stuff though. And apparently this is highly dangerous. Yeah, clearly. I'll catch okay. Up. Let's just scoot around. Leave these guys alone. Head for that. And then maybe try and fight them. I just want to get the war point. Yeah. Oh, I'm not here. Well, actually, if it's just you, that's not so bad. I must leave no stone unturned. Because, yeah, we don't do that much damage against these guys. But we do enough to mess them up, and they're stun lockable. It's the big guys that are the actual spook. Oh, you know the other thing we can do? We've got a couple of artifacts. Let's actually kit this character out. We'll give her the good stuff. Or do we give her the... Let's actually give her the traveling doctor bit. Because incoming healing is actually useful on her. Let's go... Two and two, I think. There we go. So we've got adventure for the extra thousand max HP and then extra healing. The debate club is not great. But I might as well. anymore. Okay, that's good enough. Interesting. Rank 1, so you can refine using identical weapon materials. I see, so you you mush multiple debate clubs into the same thing. Oh. So I could do that with this guy's sword. Okay. 
That makes sense. That's an e that's a good way of dealing with duplicates. I was I was kind of curious about that one. All right. So we're done with the debate club. How do I just level her up? Okay, here we go. How many of these do I have? Like a gazillion. Okay, and I got plenty of money. Bam. All right, so that should make it... Th so she's no longer under level, and she can just kind of carry us through. I'm curious about how the max level works. But considering we get plenty of those EXP books, I might as well just use them on her. Keep her as the quote-unquote main, and then switch to other people when we get the chance. So in that case, grab the mint... So the red area is not locked based on level. Maybe adventure level? I can see that being possible. Excuse me. Oh, that wasn't quite as good as I was hoping it to be. Still, that extra damage? Exactly what I was kind of hoping it would be. I also seem to have crazy extra range after using my, my big slam. All right. I can get behind this. Sup, nerds? Okay, let's just spin for a while. Avoid. Ow. Ow. Like, homeboy here, he does, he does good damage. Huh. He trick. Nice spin. I'm gonna spin your ankles off. I didn't actually get him for as much as I was hoping I would there. Did he miss? No, he didn't miss. There he goes. Alright, heavy horn. Get this. Can't get the rest. Alright, and exquisite chest. You've got hero's wit and a bunch of lower tier stuff. So I think to get the really good things, I probably have to do dungeons. That's okay. We will get there. What I'm really curious about is, how the heck do I raise my level cap? And the answer is... I don't know. We'll find that out next time. Quick thing. Like I said, we're going to go back over here. I'm going to just pump some points in. Uh, those crystally bits. See if I can increase my stamina some more. Okay, worship statue. Okay, I got three. So two more gets me more stamina, adventure EXP, primogen, and animus sigils. All right. So I'm going to have to really collect a thought if I'm going to get that stamina bar high. Which sucks, because I want to go fast. It's fine. Alright. Got that. Adventure EXP is getting there. Yeah, to do co-op dungeons, we got to be adventure rank 16. Which is kind of the goal here, because I figure there's going to be a number of you hanging out watching this. Especially if and when I, I stream this, that might be interested in diving into a co-op dungeon. I don't know how much I'd want to do that overall, but if it turns out that it's actually quite luc lucrative, then hell yeah, I guess. Anyway, sup, I'm overleveled. Boy, howdy, I'm overleveled. I'll grab it. I wonder if you can actually enhance artifacts in the same way. Alright, well, one way or another, I think this episode has gone on long enough. There's more I can do. There's obviously a billion things that I can just wander around doing. And... I will do them. Oh, is the chest on the inside done? Are... Okay, so maybe certain chests are, are one and done and you never can get them again. What about the one that was behind here? Because I've cleared this out before. Yeah! Good to know. So in that case, maybe I should go back to that waterfall real quick. <laughs> the waterfall, everybody's like, 
What? How did you miss that? The cringe is palpable. And it's like, dang. Thanks, internet. Real positive there. Uh, yeah. Let's go back. To, let's go back to that. It was over here. I'll catch up. Was it this one? No, it was this one. Much closer. Actually, quick switch. I said I was gonna end, and then I forgot. <laughs> Hello, pork. What do you have for me? Pork. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick and that was not much, but that's fine. All right, so with this, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Genshin Impact, where we'll maybe do some plot? I don't actually even know what the plot is at this point. I did it, and then... question mark? Maybe I don't have a plot. All right, well, that's fine. So, with this, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.